Um, my name is Jack. I'm from the Association for Progressive Communications. And I'd like to echo the earlier comment that the IJF presents a really unique, safe and seminal space to safely discuss about very complex and difficult issues with a variety of stakeholders and that the problems are in its granularity and not in rhetoric. So, while we acknowledge maturity in some discussions, I'm not going to name it, um, we must also hold our maturity to acknowledge oversimplification, conflation, and polemical positionings of complex issues like safety, protection, privacy, content regulation, and harm. And that the diversity of all stakeholders must be taken into account and that no shortcuts in analysis or knee-jerk reactions are taken, that learning not become wholesale importing of models and policies because the implications can be very damaging, sustained, and long-standing for those whom we have missed out, ignored, or misheard, such as the poorest of women, women living with HIV AIDS, trafficked women, sex workers, young women, as well as the girl child. So I urge that for the next IGF, that we actually broaden this space to enable deeper discussions and bring in the participation of um, people that we don't usually see um, through things like e-participation, for example, and that there will be more colors amongst us. Thank you. Uh, I had a couple of people out in front. There was the lady in the red from Brazil, and then the, the, the person next. Ah, well. The two ladies in there, <laughs> one and then the second one, correct. Another lady in red, but not from Brazil. Um, my name is Liesl Franz. I'm with the Information Technology Association of America. And I'd just like to make a comment, perhaps a little more on the logistics side of um, looking forward to IGF in Egypt that um, I hope reflects some of the positive comments that have been made about aspects that we've um, uh, picked up here. And one is that, and this session is a great example of a dynamic and um, um, cohesive discussion, even, among a, um, even amongst a group that's this large. Um, Mr. Brueggemann spoke earlier about the, uh, one of the positive things that has happened in some of the workshops is that the, the discussion has been very interactive, and those have been productive because they include discussions amongst the various stakeholders. Um, so what, and this session is probably robust because I don't know if there's any con conflict with workshops. I know that scheduling and the logistics of what workshops take place when and which sessions take place when is extremely difficult. But I would urge the organizing committee and chair and the secretariat among and with the stakeholders to think about ways to have less conflict with main sessions and workshops throughout the uh, schedule of the IGF. I don't have a particular solution for that right now, but I'd be happy to help work on that um, to try to find ways to bring as many people into the room for conversations just like this, um, not only about logistics, <laughs> such as my comments, but also about the substance, because there is really rich, robust substance. And I think even from IGF to IGF, it has, the discussion in a room like this has become very mature, very rich, and civil. Um, so thank you, and uh, I look forward to working with you. Did you want the floor, the lady from Brazil who spoke about remote participation? Did you want the floor? No. Uh, can, I have, can you pass the mic to the gentleman there, please? Uh, then it will come there. Yes, it will come to you. Thank you, Mr. Desai. Uh, I'm Andrew Miller, uh, member of the British uh, Parliament. Uh, um, although I've been involved in uh, technology issues and the way they impact uh, uh, upon people ever since I've been a member of Parliament for 16 years, um, this is my first IGF. And I echo the observation by the gentleman who spoke, spoke earlier from the University of Aarhus in Denmark. Um, one of the rich... Really valuable. And one of the things I've got out of uh, this event is being able to mix with people from different uh, 
uh, seamlessly. And I think that is incredibly valuable, and that's something that the IGF should um, uh, continue to develop.